Hi everyone! In this video, I want to show you how to approach budget forecast when you want to start running a Google Ads campaign for your business with no historical data or for your clients if you work as a digital marketer. When you want to start a campaign, one of the first questions that you need to answer is how much budget you should set aside for the campaign. If the account has historical data, that would make forecasting so much easier and more accurate as you can review the previous campaigns and come up with the right idea about how much the average CPCs and click-through rates are and how many conversions you should expect. But for an account with no historical data, you need to rely on the initial data that Google's Keyword Planner provides. The business that I want to do forecast for is a coaching and leadership skills company in the United States. States. For the first step, I have done keyword research and have decided what keywords I want to include in my campaigns for the start. So I'm going to copy these keywords. Now going to the Google Ads interface on the keyword planner page, I go to the middle option, get search volume and forecast. This is where I can start doing forecast. Here for the first step, I uh, paste the keywords that I copied in the previous step from Google Sheet. All the keywords that I want to use in my campaign. Get started. Now on the left side menu, Click on the forecast, choose all saved keywords, and remember to adjust your location targeting. By default, it shows the your, your own location and the location of your Google Ads account, but because I want to run this campaign in the United States, I need to change the country to United States. Here, Google gives me some data. I click on this menu to see this chart. Remember, you uh, sometimes you might see uh, this uh, default text on the top. You plan uh, your plan can get 15k conversions. I would recommend always start with clicks because. Conversions are really, uh, what does conversion mean for Google Ads? Conversion have, can have different meaning in different uh, scenarios. So I wouldn't really rely on the conversion data based on what Google Ads tell me. These are the numbers that Google gives you, conversion, average CPA, clicks, impression. In the chart, I usually, I usually uh, give two plans to my uh, clients uh, come up with the two plans for the start. In the media plan sheet, this is the template that I work with generally. I have objective, what channel that I want to run my campaign in uh, for now Google search um, and some metrics that I need to present to the client. Going back to the Google ads, for the initial plan, uh, first, uh, first plan, first forecast, I play around with this chart to bring it right on this uh, point where the line starts, stops going up and starts going to the right. This is uh, what I choose for my initial plan, first plan. Now, Based on the, here I change these conversions to click two. Based on the numbers that Google gives me, I download them into a Google Sheet. Open Sheet. to make 
life easier for myself. I copy the data that I need only for the campaign total. I don't want to segment the budget based on desktop, mobile or tablet. So for the campaign total only, I copy all the metrics. into my own sheet. So for the media spend, uh, this is estimated cost. Uh, this is monthly cost uh, based on 30 days. If you look at the uh, Google ads, it says you need 200 average daily budget. So your monthly budget is around $6,000. So I copied this uh, estimated cost into my media spend as the amount of budget uh, that we need. I copy impressions and clicks too, how many impressions and clicks we should expect with this amount of budget. And number of conversion, estimated conversion is 320. As I said, uh, you should take this uh, conversion data with a grain of salt because we really don't know what uh, Google Ads considers conversions. It can be a form, uh, a form submission. It can be an ebook download. Uh, if you are uh, trying to get a conversion for ebook download, for example, you should expect much more conversion than uh, form submissions. Now for the other numbers, uh, CTR, I uh, calculate CTR based on clicks and on impressions. The same for CPC, for the CPC I calculated based on my media spend and clicks. And for conversion rate, I calculated based on conversions and clicks. And also CPA based on media spend and conversions. Now, for this uh, second plan to present two budgets, I go back to Google Ads. I use this uh, circle on my chart a little above when there is more clicks, uh, just slightly above uh, to come up with a second budget. To repeat again, this is where this uh, part of the chart is where I use for my first budget presentation, first budget forecast. And for the second budget, I uh, move it a slightly above when there is a st still some incremental growth. I download this data again into a new Google Sheet. Open Sheet. Again, similar approach to make life easier for myself. I copy the data that I need from the uh, downloaded Google Sheet to my own budget forecast, replace it with the previous data. My media plan is $37,000. This is a monthly plan. Again, to calculate that, here Google suggests uh, for this amount of click to receive, 13,000 uh, 13, uh, clicks to receive, you need an average daily budget of 1.3K, which uh, monthly budget, uh, 30 days, it becomes something uh, that we see here, $37,000. For the impressions, uh, I copy the new impressions and new clicks and conversions. 
Now calculating CTR again. As you notice, the click through rate for the higher budget is lower, which is expected when you spend more, uh, more money, your, uh, your keywords uh, are taking part in ad auctions with the more broad intentions. And when the intentions are more broad, the chance of click is lower. So you generally get lower click through rate from higher spend. Average CPC is higher. Again, when you spend more money, you take part in more competitive ad auctions, which are more expensive. Your conversion rate based on your conversions and your CPA cost per acquisition that you should expect so much higher than uh, the first uh, option. For the ROAS, return on ad spent, to come up with an idea at the beginning, you, you can get an average, uh, you can consider your average uh, order that you generally expect in your business or get it from your client and calculate ROAS based on that. For example, uh, if uh, the, for this business coaching business, the average order is something about $500. So to calculate uh, ROAS, I use that number, average order, and calculate my ROAS. As I said, you should really consider this conversion rate and conversion number uh, just as a kind of idea. They are not really, uh, cannot really be accurate because there's no historical data. You, can, you don't know really how many conversions you are going to get. These numbers that I received uh, from my uh, planning template based on the forecast data that Google provided to me, the ROAS is so high, ROAS of 27 is something really uh, magical on Google Ads. So you really don't, should not expect this ROAS. Uh, something that I see wrong generally with this uh, data that Google provided to me. Let me remove the additional data that I don't need. First, the CPCs look so uh, cheap to me, which is not very uh, reasonable. Uh, I just double check to make sure that I, I use the location of United States, which is correct. I really don't think that I'm going to get uh, such a low CPCs for this business, coaching business, which is very competitive at well, below $1. But overall, this is the approach that you can take to start your Google Ads campaign uh, to know how much average budget you should uh, start. You can always uh, play around with these numbers uh, based on how much budget it is really uh, reasonable to you, you want to spend. Maybe you cannot spend uh, 5,000, 6,000 a month at the beginning if you're a small business. So you remove, reduce the number of clicks, conversions, and you reduce uh, your budget to half. Let's say instead of 6,000, you spend 3,000 and you uh, divide all your numbers, impressions, clicks, and conversions into two to have an understanding of uh, how much clicks and uh, impressions and you should expect uh, for that budget. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.